Hey everyone, this is Mike from Galaxy S4 Soft Modder, and today I'll be showing you how to automate tasks and settings on your Samsung Galaxy S4. So let me give you an example of what I mean by that. So let's say you go to school or work, uh, places where you normally need your phone silenced. Then you can set up your GS4 to automatically silence itself once you enter your school or a job, then unsilence itself once you leave. Or another example, if your battery gets low, you can have your phone automatically tune down some settings in order to squeeze out some more battery life. So in order to do these things, we'll be using an app called Llama. It's available on the Google Play Store by Kebab Apps. So if you're wondering why it was named after an animal, it's actually an acronym for Location Aware Mobile App. So what it does is it recognizes the area you're in based on the cell phone towers that it detects in the area. So there are going to be a few things to set up at first. So you have to train Llama to recognize your areas by going to the areas tab. And if you're at home, then you can long press it. And then select start learning area and choose how long you'll be in the area for All right, and it'll start learning and you can also do that for work uh, it already has home and work built in for you or if you need to add an area just tap on the plus sign at the bottom and then um, just enter the name right, now let's check out the profiles tab so profiles are groupings of different volume settings like the ringer, notification, and uh, media volumes. And there are already some pre-built ones in here like loud, normal, silent. You can edit those to your liking or you can again create a new one by tapping on the plus sign. But I personally think the built-in ones are adequate. And the events tab is where you program the app to do things for you. So again, uh, there are some pre-built ones in here, but for now, let's start from scratch and make a new one, uh, just so we can get an idea of how the app works. So let's try the example I gave you guys at the beginning of the video, which was silencing your phone once you enter work. So let's go ahead and make a new event. And let's name it uh, work silent. So we're gonna start by adding a condition so this is basically if then logic. So if you've had any programming experience, you'll most likely be familiar with that concept. Otherwise, it's still pretty easy to understand. Uh, basically, if a condition is met, then an action will occur. So our condition will be entering our workplace. So let's go to add condition and then enter area and then check box next to work and then press okay. So that's our condition, and then let's add our action, which will be uh, change profile. So we'll select profile, and then just change it to silent, and then press OK. And if you want, you can uh, test the action by pressing the test actions button, and that silences the phone. Alright, so now the phone is set up so that whenever you enter your work area, it'll go silent. And then you have to add an inverse event to unsilence the phone once you leave work. So, so you just make a new one, uh, just name it uh, work unsilence or something. And then for condition, instead of enter area, you would select leave area. And I select work again, and then for the action, you go to profile, and then you can set it back to loud. So once you have that set up, uh, your phone will automatically silence itself once you enter work and unsilence itself when you leave work. So let's try out a second automated task. Uh, we'll do one that tunes down battery uh, eating settings once your battery uh, goes below a certain percentage. Oh, so let's name it a uh, battery saver. All right, so for our condition, 
let's choose our battery level and then make sure it's set to battery goes below and then I'm gonna go with 25% and then for actions let's go with we'll turn haptic feedback off haptic feedback is uh, basically when it vibrates when you press certain buttons and that does use up some battery so we'll turn that down let's do another one All right, so we'll turn down screen brightness let's turn it down to say 10% let's add another one uh, screen timeout let's change that to 10 seconds and I'll just leave that at that, but you can also add some more if you'd like. You can try turning off mobile data or Wi-Fi. So once your phone hits under 25% battery life, uh, these settings will automatically turn themselves down or off and save you some battery life until you can get to a charger. And again, you're going to want to create an inverse event that turns these settings back up once your battery goes above 25%. So instead of... Uh, uh, battery goes below, you would choose battery rises above, and then haptic feedback off, and then your brightness levels and screen timeout to uh, whatever your original settings were. So let's try out one more automated task, which will be automatic screen rotation for YouTube. Normally, I like to keep my phone's screen rotation locked in portrait mode. But when I use YouTube, I prefer watching videos in landscape to make the most of the screen. So we'll be setting up Llama to automatically disable screen rotation lock when we have YouTube open. So I have mine set up already. Uh, so I've named it Auto Rotate YT for YouTube. And then our condition, select an active application. And then you'll choose the app, scroll down to YouTube. Um, it'll give you a master list of all the apps you have. And then make sure the status is set to app started or in foreground. And then for action, you'll choose screen rotation and then uh, rotation on. All right, so let's test this event out. So right now I have screen rotation off. And so head over to YouTube. And now that YouTube is the active application, uh, you see screen rotation turned on. So I can turn it sideways and watch videos in full screen. And again, you're gonna have to set up an inverse uh, event. So you can just name it uh, auto rotate off or something. And then instead of apps started or in foreground, you would choose app stopped or in background and then screen rotation you'd uh, select no rotation so I hope this guide has opened your mind up as to what Llama can do for your GS4 so maybe you can come up with some of your own automated processes so if you do we'd love to hear what you come up with so share them in the comments below or at the full tutorial so thanks for watching guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and check out the full tutorial at Galaxy S4 Soft Modder